open up our maths course book 1B, page number 48 and 49. All right. In the course book today, we will be learning about adding three numbers, which we have already done, but we will just recap about it. All right. As you can see here, David is uh, explaining us how to uh, do three numbers counting. So he says there is 7 plus 3 plus 2. 7 plus 3 plus 2. So what do we do? We add the first two numbers. Okay. That is 3 plus 7. 7, 8, 9, 10. So 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. So please write down the answer 12 in the box. And I want you to underline 7 plus 3 quickly. And then write 10. Then draw a pointing arrow at 2 and then write in the box 12. Now, let's look at page number 49. You can see the clocks here. Each row has different shapes of clocks, flower, fish and circle. Now, there, in the first row, there are three clocks. In the second row, also three. So, first we do the two number counting. That would be the flowers, three flower clocks and three fish clocks together would make six. Okay, now the next one, I'm going to add three lines together. That is three flowers plus three fishes plus three circles. In this, the trick here is always add two numbers first, write down the answer at the bottom, tiny, a bit. Why did you underline? That means you are adding these two numbers or subtracting numbers. Here we are doing addition, so we are adding these two numbers to get the answer that is 6. Now from 6, you have to write at the bottom, you have to draw the line bottom of the 6, okay? Because 6 plus 3 is going to be Nine. All right. Quickly write this. Number two. Number two is you have in a row one, two, three, four, five flower clocks plus one fish clock plus two circle clocks. Okay. So how do we get this answer? Remember, add the first two numbers. Write the answer at the bottom. 5 plus 1 is 6. Now 6 plus 2. I want you to do this working. 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay. Now number 3. First row you have 3 flower clocks. Plus 1 fish clock. Plus 6 circle clocks. <coughs> Here. You have to underline 3 plus 1, that is 4, 4 pointing to 6. Why? Because now you are dealing with 4 plus 6 is 6 in your brain, 4 on your fingers, after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the answer is 10. Please write down quickly. Okay, now go to page number 5050, which says add... Okay, there is a number line given to you. As you can see, there is a number line. For A, they have 2 plus 2 plus 2. I want you to follow this pattern. Underline the first two. Add them. 2 plus 2 is 4, right? Draw an arrow pointing to the next number. So 4 plus 2 is 6. Next, your 4B would be, what's the equation? <coughs> 5 plus 1 plus 3. Okay? Now, when you have 5 plus 1 plus 3, your first step is to underline the first two numbers. Add then 5 plus 1 is 6. Next step, you will draw an arrow pointing to the 
answer you've got from 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Alright, now 4C, next equation is 1 plus 2 plus 6. Alright, here you underline 1 plus 2, which is 3. Then you draw an arrow pointing to 6. Okay, then from here, 3 plus 6 makes 6 in your brain, 3 on your fingers, after 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so this is how easy adding 3 numbers are. Now, let's look at number 5. Complete the addition equation. Okay, so here we will do the completion of the addition equation 5a. What's the first sum? 7 plus 8 plus 2. Wow, the numbers have increased. The numbers are comparatively a bit bigger. Alright, so what we will do here? I'm going to teach you a trick here. Okay, when you have bigger numbers, okay, to add up, it's always better to make 10 first. So, for example, 8 and 2 makes 10. Now, when you have 10, any number added to 10 is easy. So, 10 plus 7 is 17. All right? Instead of counting these two numbers and these two numbers, it's easier if you make 10. All right? So anyways, if you have added 7 and 8 first and you have underlined, it's fine. But it's always easier to make 10 first. Now, what the B equation here? 4 plus 9 plus 6. 4 plus 9 plus 6. Alright, so if you look here carefully, you have bigger numbers. So what you can do is first make 10 if you want. That is how you will make 10. 6 and 4 makes 10, right? So you can do is 6 plus 4 makes 10. 10 plus 9 makes 19. If not, you can even do it this way. It's fine. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. How would you feel it's easier? 4 plus 9. 9 in your brain, 4 on your fingers. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 here, arrow 6. 13 in your brain, 6 onto your fingers. After 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. See? Anyways, you have got the same answer 19 here, 19 here. But in this uh, two equations, there are two different ways to do it. Either you make tens first and then add with the third number. If not, it's fine. You just add the first two numbers. Okay, get the answer, then add it with the third number. Okay, end of the day, you should know how to add bigger numbers. So it's at your convenience how you would want to do it. Okay, but if you are using method of making 10 first, you can even circle this out like this. Okay, so that it promptly shows that you are choosing 4 and 6 to add first. Okay, so now when you do this work in your exercise book, I would like you to follow the same working. Okay, same workout. These are the steps. These are the workouts. This is how I want to see your work to be because when you draw these tiny, tiny lines and arrows, your, it registers into your brain. So it is easier to recall and remember when you do it next time. So it's faster way to understand and learn. So please, please take out 10 minutes of your time, extra time if you feel, okay, that I can just count on my fingers and I can write the answer. Yes, you can do that. But always, uh, it's not 
if not for sure that always your counting would be accurate. So it's always better to have a second way of double checking it. That is, anyways, you can do either by this pattern or this way. All right. So this is for your classwork. We have done three pages for today. Uh, we have done three pages. That is page number 48, 49, and 50. All right. For homework, I would want you to do in your shaping math activity book 1B, you will be doing page number 45. Sorry, you will be doing your page number in your math activity book. You will be doing your page number 45 and 46. Okay? Page number 45 and 46 for homework. Alright? So I will see you all on Monday. Stay safe. Take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.